Hi everyone, Tay here, and today we're gonna talk about how I saved my first million at 23 only by working from home. It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you. Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom, sunshine, but never you smile. It's the best. Before talaga, akala ko hindi ko na kaya, as in, I thought that I was gonna save my first million at 30 because hindi naman ako sanay na sumasahod ng malaki back then. Trust me, when I started working, may working student ako, tapos yung initial na sinasahod ko lang was as low as around 8,000 for a part-time job. And after graduation, yung nakasanay ko lang sahod is around 14 to 15,000 pesos. So, pag iniisip ko, oh my god, if I'm gonna save 5,000 pesos every month, baka mahit ko lang yung first million ko by 30. And there's nothing wrong with that. Kasi knowing myself, I know that I'm a very thrifty person and uh, alam ko na kaya kong mag-ipon. I know that I have the discipline. Yun na lang. Talagang it takes time on my end. Tsaka, it really takes the it really takes a learning curve when it comes to investment and when it comes to making money. Yes, I'm gonna tell you, making money is a skill. And the reason kung bakit ko nasabi to is because I wouldn't achieve my first million at 23 if I didn't discover or if I didn't learn how to increase my income. And para malinawan kayo, yung regular income ko ngayon is nasa 6 figures. That's my monthly income. Kaya ngayon, mas napapadali yung pag-ipon. Kasi yung expenses ko, lumiit. I still have a lot of expenses, pero it doesn't take a huge chunk of my income. Kung bagay yung expenses ko lang is around 10-20% of my 6 figure income. Kaya nakakaipon ako ng malaki. I think the biggest question here is, Tia, paano mo napalaki yung income mo only by working from home? Well, if you don't know me yet, hello everyone, I'm Tia. I've been freelancing for the past almost three years. And it's been a turning point in my life ever since I got pregnant. Kasi noon naging pregnant ako, dun ko na, dun ako nag-decide na sa bahay na ako mag-work. I'll do everything at home. I don't want to work anywhere just to take care of my child. Only to realize na it was like the key to my destiny. Gusto nyo yun, destiny. Pero, uh, do ko na unleash yung bigger opportunities. Right now, meron na akong limang income streams na pinanggagalingan ng, of course, ng income ko. Na I'm gonna share it with you kasi totally doable siya. And parang kayang-kaya yung gawin. I have three income sources that gives me income month after month after month, meaning active siya. I have one income source na very active, kumbaga tinatrabaho ko talaga siya. And that's the reason na may pumapasok na pera month after month. But I have four income streams na sobrang passive niya to the point na konting manage-manage lang. Tapos all good na, may income pa rin na papasok. And I'm happy that I started these passive and active income sources, okay? So anyways, let's start. Number one, alam na alam yun na to, is my most active source of income is freelancing. So the way freelancing works is that I render my services or I sell my services to business owners to help them grow their business. On my end, uh, I do marketing kasi as you all know, marketing yung tinapos ko na course. And all throughout the years, I also took courses on how to do social media marketing and how to do it for other businesses. Kaya, ayun, natuto ako. To be upfront, freelancing takes about 50 to 60% of my whole income. So, talagang malaking chunk siya ng income ko kasi yun yung nagbibigay ng malaking pero on my end eh. And the big question is, paano ako nag-start? Initially, I started being a virtual assistant at a company in Miami. Paano ko nakilala yung taong to? Uh, to be honest, I met this person kasi meron ako Instagram account. It's The name is Socials by Tay, as you all know. Tapos, from that account, chinat niya ako that he needs help with his business. Ako on my end, nagsishare lang ako ng social media tips there. And to my surprise, Ayun, siya yung first client ko. And other than that, I also applied um, in online jobs. It's uh, online jobs at PH. So, punta lang kayo doon, tapos madaming job listings. And what I did was that, 
Yung resume na ginagawa na sinesend ko or yung proposal na tinatawag nila na hinihingi, I always make it really beautiful to the point na I'm not just telling about my skills, kung ano magagawa ko. I don't tell about my soft skills. Kung baga, I tell them my hard skills. Hard skills like graphic design, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, etc. And I also send them Nandun sa uh, media kit ko or sa resume na sinisend ko, may kasama rin siyang previous work or sample work. Kahit wala pa akong experience dati, nagpo-provide ako ng sample work. Kahit simple graphics lang and mga captions katabi nun. So at least they can have a taste of what it feels like or they can at least see how I work. Kung, kung paano ako mag-work, anong itro na magiging trabaho ko. So that work on my end and until now I still have multiple clients parang I don't want to let them go kasi long term clients ko na sila pero yeah freelancing makes me six figures month in and month out tapos uh, hindi ko pa siya bibitawan for now because bata pa ako I'm still at 23 I still have a lot of energy I enjoy doing it and at the same time I still think that I really have passion in marketing Second income source that I have is kind of active, medyo passive. And the second income source that I have are online courses. So, kung hindi nyo pa alam, I have an online course for social media marketers. And if you want to learn for free, just click on the link below. Bibigyan kita ng free four-part training that you can do if you want to start as a social media marketer. Tapos, the way that online course works, ginawa ko lang siya to be honest, ginawa ko lang siya to help uh, mga kapo Filipinos to grow their business or to learn social media marketing para ma madiscover rin nila paano kumita at home, especially mga moms like me, ma ma makadiscover lang sila ng income source just by working at home. Yun lang talaga yung main mission ko back then but eventually it like it grew and it grew. Tapos, one year later, we have 300 members. Nako, I really enjoy doing it. Uh, medyo naging active source of income siya. Kasi, I still go there every week. Minsan bi-weekly. To teach new lessons. Sa mga nandun. Kasi, uh, yung iba kasi, habang nag-grow sila, while they get their, cl their clients, gusto talaga nila matuto na, okay, ano pa yung other ways that I can help my client better? Or ano pa kaya yung other ways na pagkakakitaan ko? So, yeah, ako, I drop by there to add additional content. Which is, happy rin naman ako sa ginagawa ko. And at least, it doesn't take, like, around 40 hours of my week just to, um, just to have income from there and masaya ako like may natutulungan ako uh, to be honest I don't pretty much care kung maliit ba o malaki yung kita ko doon as long as nasasahuran ko yung tao ko na nagtatrabaho doon okay ako and so far we've been doing great number three third passive income that I have is affiliate marketing so uh, people think na naga affiliate marketing ako, just selling like mga paganda, beauty stuff, or Shopee products. But no, the way yung mga ina affiliate marketing ko are actually info products. Info products like courses, digital digital assets, mga ebooks, yun yung mga ini info product. Ayun yung mga ina affiliate ko. So I have multiple friends who are in the coaching space or who are in the info product space meaning uh, they also have their they also have their own courses tapos uh, they asked me to promote their courses or their info products and lahat na mababenta ko on my end I get a part of commission so na mention ko to on TikTok there are a lot of times na okay talaga yung kitaan na one campaign would make me around 20,000 to 50,000 pesos Pag ginalian ko ng todo, siguro abot ako ng six figures. Kaso, lately kasi, hindi ko siya ginagalingan masyado. Ah! <laughs> Pero yeah, it gives good amount. It gives it gives a good amount of income talaga na hindi ko namamalayan. Tapos mamaya kasi may pumapasok na naman na itchat ako. Sabi, uy, Tia, you have additional uh, additional affiliate. Ano yun? 
affiliate income. I forgot mm-hmm. what they call it. Pero affiliate commissions. May nagkachat sa akin na, Tia, you have additional affiliate commissions. Tapos, magulat na lang ako may additional na pera nang pumapasok sa bank ko. So, yun. Pero, yeah, you can also do it for products. Meron si Shopee. Uh, it's called, uh, you just have to Google Shopee Affiliates. Tapos, you can promote different products na ina-affiliate me na may affiliate program si Shopee. It's very nice. I'm trying to get into it and siguro in 3 months, balikan ko yung topic na yun and gawan ko ng video. Another thing, another another platform that is good na you can promote Shopee and Lazada products is Involved.Asia. Sa website, check nyo yun. Tapos, you can sign up. Tapos, pwede kayo magbenta ng products and you get a percentage of the sale. Fourth income source that I have is super passive and it's Axie Infinity. We see, we recently invested on this and I don't know if it's been growing like crazy. And to be honest, hindi biro yung investment ha? kasi initially we started at uh, ako, I, I initially invested 100,000 pesos. Tapos bigla na naman lumaki yung investment kasi I need to buy more kasi gusto ko mag-breed. But yeah, moving forward, like after I breeded my first set, set of axes, tuloy tuloy na. And on my first month, meron na kami apat na scholar. Tapos siguro maglilima siya next week or mag anim in a week or two. So talaga, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. And tip ko lang, if ever you're, you're gonna invest in axi, you must learn. You really must learn how it works. Uh, ako, I really set my time to learn about it. Lalo nung sobrang beginner ako. Akala ko laro-laro lang. Only to find out na, okay, pag magpapaskolar ako, it's gonna take time to get my money back. And, uh, kailan ko ba i-exchange yung SLP ko? Is the economy of Axie really stable? Na really take time to sit down and watch. Ano ba yung opinion na iba? Like how, I even sit down and watch like, how the Axie economy works and they even have their own Discord chat. Uh, meron yun sa, when you go to their website, you can, my link down where you can join their Discord server. It's super interesting. Uh, they share about news, tapos yung mga ibang tao all around the globe, they also share about their input on, ano mo yun, like, share sila ng best practices on going about the game kasi hindi biro, it really involves money. <laughs> Kumbaga, uh, the way that you can earn more talaga there is to invest more. Pero yeah, you can be wise. Just like some other people na yung ginagawa nila nagbabuy and sell sila. It's like, ano yun? They're turning over, they're flipping axes. <laughs> and yung iba naman, just like me, nagbe-breed ako ng axes. Tapos ipapaskolar ko. So, in a way, I, I can help people around me. And at the same time, uh, talaga feeling ko confident ako na may pinatutunguhan yung investment ko from there and from time to time nilalaro ko din siya which is happy on my end <laughs> kaya yeah, uh, maglaro ka lang pag may oras ka maglaro kasi if you're a person like me na who's busy parang feel ko ano, bumagal yung business ko dahil oh my God, naglaro ako pero yeah moving forward, fifth investment or fifth income source that I have are investments. So, ito yung tipong hindi siya sa bank ko nakalagay, pero uh, nag-grow siya over time. Hindi kasing lait. Hindi siya kasi hindi kasing lait ng kita niya sa bank ko, pero yeah, month after month may kinikita. And the investment that I have are nag-invest ako sa Forex. Yun, someone handles it for me. So, if you're watching this, thank you, mahal kita, for handling my Forex investments. Meron din ako invested in insurance. So, ayun, BPI Philam. Someone also handles it for me. So, thank you then. Ayan. <laughs> I also have stocks. Pero ito, hindi ko na siya masyado na monitor. Kung maganan dyan lang siya. And over time, it's like, baka makalimutan ko siya tapos biglang nakita ko oh my god lumaki na pala pero since ewan ko nang bagalan lang ako sakita ng pera sa stock so I let it pause pause I let it sit there muna tapos you know focus lang ako sa income sources who are faster to grow on my end like 
affiliate marketing, online courses, and Axie. So, <laughs> ayun na nga po. Yun lang yung five income streams that I have. And the main reason why I was able to save 1 million pesos in the bank. If ever you're interested to learn about freelancing and social media marketing, I will drop the link down below. Uh, it's a free masterclass. You can learn from there. Tapos, I really created it for people who want, who badly want to learn about how to start with social media marketing even when you just have a cell phone. Kasi ako, I started with just my phone. Wala pa akong, hindi ko pa, um, hindi ko pa afford bumili ng laptop dati. Ngayon, grabe, naka MacBook na ako. I mean, I'm not flexing, pero it's just, nakakagaan ng loob kasi lahat, everything that I, that I have now, it's from blood and sweat and tears. Even this phone, grabe, cheap lang yung cell phone ko dati. Ano, 5K lang yung cell phone ko dati. And ngayon, grabe, I paid this in full cash kasi oh my god di, di tayo naging emotional kasi yeah uh, it's a result of hard work talaga so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope na sa susunod na mapapadpad ka sa channel ko you'll be the next peso millionaire thank you and have a great day